Yo, I done took the ghetto curry and put the ghetto curry in the egg roll. Mm, let's get it. Bro, pocket boy, stop. For these ghetto curry egg rolls, start out with seasoning your chicken with chicken seasoning, pepper, paprika, and curry powder. Get those bad things going in a nice hot pan to develop that color and that flavor. You're also going to want to hit it with some butter to develop that sauce. You can really do this recipe however you want to, y'all, just like any other recipe. Don't let nobody tell y'all nothing. I threw in two cans of crushed tomatoes, some onions, and some mushroom because I figured I wanted these egg rolls to have some type of body. Also add in some oyster sauce to anything, y'all. Game changer. Basically what you're doing throughout this recipe is covering to let all those flavors marinate and then uncovering to let it reduce and just keep doing that to build the flavor. During the last stage of this, you're gonna hit it with some heavy cream as well as the rest of your chicken. Make sure that it's all thickened up so that it's not gonna be oozing out of the egg roll wrapper. The consistency should be something like this and now we're ready to roll. Make sure you have your flour and water paste to help seal the egg rolls and then you're gonna start with about a tablespoon of filling. If the filling's too warm or too loose, this is gonna be a mess y'all just make sure that it's thick and that it's cooled down pop them in the air fryer for about 20 minutes and you'll definitely be able to tell when they're done shh let's plate it that sauce was taken out early so it's not as cooked down it has a different flavor profile but also i feel like a spicy yogurt sauce would be good with this too i have the most beautiful view of the sunset right now i'm finna enjoy this meal and my my beeswax